such a long time since I have uploaded on here. It's been three weeks, almost a month, since I last posted my video, which was my Valentine's Day video <laughs> murder. So, I mean, if you're interested in seeing that, you can definitely go check that video out. I will just have a link to it down below if you're interested in seeing more of my videos. I feel like I have a weight cast from my powder. I've been trying having like some weight cast powder issues with my setting powder so if you guys have any good recommendations for setting powders please drop them down below because i'd be interested to hear about them but anyways back to me being gone for so long it's just been such a crazy crazy few weeks i mean i got a job i started working at that it's been hectic enough with that i've been super run down. i just honestly haven't had time to sit down and film but i got these in the mail um yesterday and i thought this would be the perfect time to make a video and i'm on spring break right now so i have nothing but time so i had time to film this video for you guys and I thought that you might enjoy it so today I'm going to be giving you guys my review and my little two cents on the new Kylie Cosmetics Kai Kai lighters um, so yeah I'm super excited for this video I was super excited to get these and I hope that you guys are excited to see my thoughts about it um, if you do make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in the future and yeah, I tried to recreate the um, eye look that's on the Royal, her, the Kylie Peach Palette, the Royal Peach Palette. And so this is what it turned out to be. With like the blue on the bottom. So yeah, I was just trying out something different. If you guys are interested in a tutorial, just make sure to like this video and let me know. Alright, so with that, let's get on into my review. Okay, so I picked out two shades um, because that's like just kind of what these are the two that I wanted and I didn't want to spend like too too much money and also all the other shades were selling out super super quick so I just wanted to get on there and grab these ones I missed the initial launch of them I actually had to work that night so I wasn't able to get they launched like right when my shift started so I wasn't able to get on there and get them the first time but when they restocked I think it was like last week or so I was literally sitting on the website waiting like refreshing it and refreshing it till they launched so that I could snag up some of them because I really really wanted them so the two that I got is I got French Vanilla and Cotton Candy Cream. As you can see, they're different packaging. Um, on camera, you can tell the difference. In real life, they're more kind of like similar because this one's just like a light pink. And this one's like a cream color, so it's kind of hard to tell the difference, but you can tell it on camera, so that's awesome. So they came in these packages, packages right here. It has Kylie written across it. You can barely see it. You guys can even see it on camera, but Kylie's written across the box right here. And then they had the names on the lids, lid things. And then on the back they just have Kylie pressed illuminating powder in the shades and blah, blah, blah. So they are pretty big. I was expecting them to be smaller, but they are actually pretty big. This is the packagings right here. So I mean, that's pretty big, but compared to my hand, it's a nice sized highlighter. So that's nice I don't actually remember how quite how much these were but um, I'll put it in a pop-up screen right here if you guys are interested I think she's relaunching them this Thursday which is March 16th at 5 3 p yeah 3 p.m. like PST it was 5 p.m. where I am I'm in Texas so if you're wondering but um yeah, so first of all, this is what they look like inside. They come with a mirror. I'm not going to try to blind you. And here is what the actual pan looks like. It has the signature Kylie drip, which is super pretty and like super fab. And here is the other one, the French Vanilla shade. So that's gorgeous. I actually used the um, French Vanilla one on my face today in my makeup that I did right before I came to film this video. So if you guys can see it, it's super pretty. I thought that this um, French Vanilla is more of a straight out kind of like whitish with a hint of gold. And I thought this would look better with the eye look that I did rather than like the cotton candy one that has a hint of pink to it. So um, yeah, that's why I decided to do that. So I guess I'm just going to do some swatches for you. So um, this is cotton candy cream. I'm just running my two fingers. So... There's a swatch on my fingers. They kind of don't show up on my skin that well just because I am super, super pale. Like, that's my arm, and I swatch it right there. You guys can't even see. So, I mean, they don't have a lot of pigment coming, like, straight out of it. 
like they do swatch really nicely on my fingers but like showing when I'm swatching it on my skin like I can see the tint but I can barely see it on my arm and you can barely see you can even see it on camera I don't know if that's because I am so pale or if the shades are just not actually pigmented so if you have these and you have a darker skin tone would you like let me know if they're showing up um, but next I'll swatch the French vanilla shade and all the shade names are super adorable which I love this one is super pretty see they swatch amazingly on my um, finger can you see that no you can't even see it. but you can see them now kind of on my skin like this <laughs> you can't see. but anyways they are super super pretty and they're super pigmented when you swatch them on your fingers and they're pigmented when they go onto my skin like they went onto my cheeks beautifully and everything like that so I really honestly don't have any complaints the only thing that's weird is like my packaging right here is like it's like the paint is coming off of it or something I don't know. Do you see all those like holes in the packaging? Like that is super, super weird. But I don't know. Oh well, I'll deal with it as long as I got my product. I'm cool with it. The packaging is super nice. It's a uh, pretty sturdy um, cardboard, so it doesn't look like it's just going to kind of fall out. You get 9.5 grams, I think. And so, yeah, I think they're beautiful. I think they go on the face. They're a nice, creamy, good pressed highlighter formulation that you want. Like, they're not, they're definitely not like a cream highlighter or anything, but they are soft. They are creamy and everything that you would want in a nice highlighter, which I can definitely appreciate that. They're super cute. Like, even if you don't even like them, they're cute to display. Um, so, yeah, I just think they're beautiful. And they are amazing highlighters. They have colors for everyone, which is another reason why I like them so much. Is that there's literally a color for any skin tone that you want. I picked up the two shades that I thought would work best with my skin tone. But I might be interested in picking up some other ones. So you can get on their website. There's all different colors. Get the one that you think looks best for your skin tone. And I think that you will really, really enjoy them. They have a good formulation. They have good packaging. Um, they still kind of had that weird cardboard smell I wasn't noticing like a weird um, smell with my peach palette I was noticing more of like a cardboardy plastic smell not like chemically but like these have this kind of weird um, cardboard like new cardboard smell which I think is just because they're in a type of cardboard packaging so if you guys have these and they have a weird smell like let us know down below what your thoughts are on this but like Honestly, you can't even notice it unless you're, like, right up close and sniffing it. Like, you can't notice it on your face or anything. So, yeah. That's basically my two cents about the new Kylie Jenner highlighters. So, I hope this was helpful. If you guys want to purchase them, I will leave the link below. The link down below to Kylie Cosmetics. If you guys are interested, I don't have a coupon or anything. I'll just leave the link that will take you directly to their website. And you can check the products out for yourself. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for stopping by. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button is down below. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.